Hi, everybody. Uh, we're doing section S, which is my favorite. Uh, this is Algebra 1 IXL, and I'm going to be doing S3, which is find the slope of a graph. My guess is I'm going to be counting some points and probably using counting uh, to estimate the slope. I'm also, uh, well, let's let's take a look at it and see, see what we're going to do here. I, I, I don't preview these, so it's kind of a surprise. Oh, I like it. Okay, so um, the units matter. So you have to be careful with your units. Now, the trick for this is to find two places where the graph or the line that you see intersects your graph. So this is a real graph. So we've got an intersection here. Let me draw my, get my points here. Come on. All right, I know, I know, I know. Okay, fine. Scroll to the question there, okay. So I've got a point here, and I don't, want to, I don't want to try to use any other in-between points. I want to use this one up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count the slope between these two points. These are the only two that seem to go through intersections. So I'm going from here up, up, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. That's up, 60 over 10, 20, 30, 40, over 40. Now, a lot of people are just gonna count the points and that's a really bad idea because a lot of times these, this scale might be different than this scale. And if you just count up six over four, sometimes it'll work and sometimes it won't. In this particular case, we've got the slope is the rate of change. How quickly is this going up? Now it went up 60, or the change in Y was 60, and the change in X was positive 40. I went in the upward direction, which is a positive change for Y, and I went to the right, which is a positive change for X. Uh, reading from left to right, we can see that this is going up. This line is going up, which is why this is a positive slope. If I reduce it, it says simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction, improper fraction, or an integer. But it does say to simplify it. So that means that that's the same as 6 over 4 or 3 over 2. I'm probably going to use the 3 over 2. Now, I could just as easily write it as 1.5, which may make more sense. And we'll talk about why that might make more sense. If you're talking, for example, about money here, a uh, dollar fifty would mean something. Uh, the three over two might mean something as well. But anyway, uh, there we have it. Uh, we want to find the slope, so I'm going to write it as maybe three over two. Let's do this real quick. So uh, there's no fraction. There's no actual fraction uh, choice. So I have to write it like this. That's why you can't write mixed numbers. Don't even try because you're not going to be able to. Uh, three over two looks good. And this one, okay. So it looks like we have an intersection here. Let me get my points here. There's my intersection. And I have another intersection here. So we went up four over two, up four over two. And because I'm going to the right, it's a positive slope. And because I'm going up, it's a positive four. This is the slope. We usually indicate it by M. And that reduces to two over one, which is the same as two. I'm not sure if they'll count it right if you put two over one. But I'm, I, I suspect that it's probably OK. But I'm going to go ahead and use the two. This is a slope of two. Be careful of your units. Uh, looks like we're going by tens. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and count by tens. This one is an intersection and it looks like this one's an intersection. I could also go to this one. It, you could go from here all the way up to this one. You could go from this one to this one or you can go from this one to this one. It, it doesn't really matter which, which pair you use. I'm gonna count from here and I'm gonna go up 10, 20, 30, 40 over 20. 
So this is up 40 over 20, which is a slope of two when you reduce it. <laughs> this one, I can't go from here at the bottom. So I'm gonna go from here and I'm gonna go to here. It looks like those intersect and that is up 30 over 20. Up 30 over 20 is three over two or 1.5, either one is correct. Uh, this one is not as steep. We would expect the number to be uh, less than one. And the way I can tell it's less than one is because a slope of one would be a 45 degree angle. A slope of one would be steeper. This one is a fraction. That's a, a proper fraction, if you like. And I'm gonna write my slope. I'm gonna choose my point here. And I need another intersection, which is here. And that is up 20 over 30. And each time I, I need to really check your units because there's occasions when these might be going up by one and these might be going up by 10, which would really mess up your slope. So this is up 20 over 30, which of course reduces to two thirds. And like I said, it was a fraction less than one. Uh, this is a positive. Notice it's going up from left to right. All right, let's see if they gave us a negative slope anywhere along here. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like we're getting any negative ones. Uh, we're starting here and we're going to go up to here. This is up 10, 20, 30 over 10. So the slope is 30 over 10, which is the same as three over one or just simply three. Any one of those is correct, although they're probably looking for the three. Very steep, uh, it's, it's a higher number because the Y's are changing much faster than the X's are changing. And we need to choose an intersection point. It looks like we have one here and it looks like we have one here. So it looks like we're going up from zero to 60, which is 60 up, that's a positive 60 over just 10. So it's a slope of 60 over 10, or just simply six, when you simplify it. Now this one is finally going, finally have one going down. Uh, and I hope you can see why it's going down. Generally, most of us are used to reading from left to right. And when we read this from the point that intersects on the left to the point that intersects over here, we're obviously going down. Now it's very important that you pay attention to this. We are going down one unit to here. That's minus one unit. Notice I'm not counting by tens anymore. I'm counting by ones. And I'm going over one, two, three, four. And that's over four. So I went down one over four. So the slope of this is negative one over four. It's not very steep uh, and we're done. Negative one over four. Another positive slope. It looks like uh, this is an intersection here and it looks like this is an intersection here and this is going up 20 over 10, 20, 30, 40. 20, up 20 over 40 is the same as one half. Now this is not the same as a slope of two. A slope of two would be going up 40 over 20. Very different. Um, you should be able to estimate it just by looking at it. It looks like it's half as steep as a slope of one. So it is, it's a slope of one half. And of course you could put 0.5, wouldn't be wrong. Okay, easy stuff, right? All right, take a look at that. We know it's gonna be negative. Okay guys, don't, don't freak out, it's a negative. Uh, find an intersection point. Now be careful, 
that one looks like it's really close, but it, it's off a bit. Now this one definitely looks like it's off a bit as well. And this one looks like it's dead on right there. Now I'm not seeing any more. Let me see if I see any others. It looks like this one might be on. Looks like that one right there might be on. Um, and it looks like this one is. So be careful. It, those in-between points just aren't close enough. So it looks like I'm going from here, which is at five. Notice that they didn't tell you that, but it's at y equal to five. And I'm going to count down to negative two. Now, a lot of people are going to count and then they're going to make a mistake. It's a good idea to look at your numbers. From five down to negative two is down seven. Now, I can count it down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but it's really easy to make a mistake. It's better to look at the numbers themselves, okay? And then we're gonna go over one, two, three. Now, because I went to the right, I counted a positive three and I get a slope of negative seven over three. Now, some people are gonna get confused and they're gonna say, well, what if I counted it backwards? What if I started at the point and counted to the right? It will work. It's just that you have to be a little more careful. So if I count this one, I could count from this point right here up to this point. Now it's better to count from left to right, but if for whatever reason you decide that you can't do that, or for, for some reason you need to count from right to left, you can do it. This is up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Notice I went up seven, but now I'm going back one, two, three. And back three is to the left, and that's a negative in the x direction. And that is the same as positive seven over negative three. So you can count it either way, but I recommend always counting from left to right because it makes more sense. Okay, negative seven thirds, there we have it. And it helps if I actually put the answer in, I suppose. Just scroll down, there we go, negative seven over three. Uh, this one is also a negative slope. Be careful. It looks like that. Oh. It looks like that might be close enough, but it's not. It's not on the point. Now we're, we've got to look for a very nice intersection. Here's one. And here's another one. And here's another one. So those are my three intersections. I can count between any pair of those. Looks like they're a little off, but I'm going to check them just real quick. Now this is clearly seven right here, and this one is at zero for the y. So I went down seven from here to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I went over one, two, three. Man, that sounds familiar. And this one went down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, over one, two, three. Yep, negative seven over three again. <laughs> they seem to like that answer. Negative seven over three. There we go. Another one. Ah, here's a negative that has some tens in it. So we're going to go from here to here. I went down to down twenty, excuse me, over thirty. Down twenty over thirty. You better get a negative out of this. Now, don't forget, you have to reduce it. Negative two over three. A lot of people say, well, I always want to use decimals. Well, the problem is that if you write negative 0.6666666, it's still wrong. And there's, you know, you can estimate it, but you can't get it exact. The only way to get it exact without, you know, is without the decimal there. So it's negative two thirds. All righty then. Uh, is this one negative or positive? Well, looking at it reading from left to right, just like you do in a children's book. If you were reading, you would say, you know, Jack's walking down the hill. This is declining or it's going down. Generally, uh, this is time moving forward and the X values or possibly money going up or something. And this is going down 
Y is going down as X goes forward. That's another way of looking at it. Uh, be careful, that one does not quite hit 80. Uh, this one looks really close, but it's off. This one looks like it's on. And so does this one. They're really close though. And I think this one maybe. I could count it both times, just to double check it, especially since I'm at the 96 level. So I'm gonna count both of them. This one counts one, two, oh, negative 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I went down 60 and I went over 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now let's see if this one gives me the same answer. Down 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, over 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Sure enough, negative six over five. And that is negative 60 over 50, which is the same as negative six over five. Uh, you could also write negative 1.2. Again, uh, if you were talking about money, you would probably write it like this, right? Anyway, there you have it. Oops, if I actually put the answer in, I guess. Uh, negative six over five. Okay, looks like we might only have one more, maybe two. All right, we need to be careful. It looks like I have an intersection here and an intersection here and an intersection here. And definitely looks like down three over two. So negative three halves, uh, we're counting by tens again. So it's really negative 30 over 20, that's my slope, but that's negative three over two. This is the rate of change and it is a negative and it is steeper than one and it looks good, negative three over two. This may be my last one. So let's take a look and see, yep. Uh, Hope you all have, have a good, as good a time as doing it as I did and uh, get those done and let's see you back again. Bye-bye.